This is part three. See, the thing about this, this experience, this story, well, there's several, many things, is that, A, uh, I was under the influence of, of a tremendous quality, quantity, excuse me, of, of hallucinogenic, hypnotic, and God knows what other kind of drugs. So, my memory of uh, what happened first, and what happened second, and what date this happened on is, is shot. Um, some of these drugs that they administered to us caused us, or caused me some kind of neural breakdown. Uh, my memory is not as good as it was. Uh, while we were under the influence of these drugs, I found it very difficult to concentrate on anything for more than a moment. I would have to write down, like if I'm going to the supermarket, I have to make a list of what it is we're going to buy, because there were just too many choices, and I would spend hours like looking at all the colors on the shelves and trying to figure out that it was impossible uh, to make change you know like I buy a slice of pizza I had to just put the money on the counter and let them figure it out I had to have a subway map so that if I was going to take the train and I would look at it you know five six ten times as I'm standing on the platform to try to remember what train am I getting on and where am I going uh, so well, the other thing was that it made uh, fast reaction time, like, you know, spinning around and, and grabbing that little black canister out of the hand of the guy who just psh, psh, sprayed you in the back of the head, uh, you know, it made that impossible because by the time I even realized what had happened, they're gone, you know, and laughing about it. Um, that happened all the time, actually, in the beginning of this thing, uh, is that people would come up to me from behind and go psh, psh, and spray me on the back of the head with something from a small black canister about the size of a, of a mace can, you know, the one you buy to protect yourself when you're out jogging. Um, and my, it's my belief that that, what they were spraying me with was more drugs because I wasn't going inside, I was outside, and I was walking around and walking around and walking around for days. So, but you know, it may be tracking material. You mark somebody with UV tracking or whatever, and then you can... Anyway. Um, 